Um, fighting the UFC is, uh, you know, uh, an honor, and uh, anytime you can come out and perform well and uh, have a finish like that, and I know it's uh, kind of the heavyweight curse, you know, we, we tend to knock each other out, uh, so it's nice, and uh, winning the UFC is always great. What do you expect to happen next now? I mean, you come off a big win like this, are you ready to get back in there soon, or what's the plan? You know, I'm, I'm healthy still, uh, I'm not too beat up, I have a, you know, a little scratch on my eye, but uh, other than that, yeah, I'm ready to go, I'm, uh, I'm going to go home and see my daughter for a little bit, and then... Uh, Probably go back into camp pretty soon. The heavyweight division is not necessarily the. It's kind of thin when it comes to you know the top ten. You can break into that at any time. So, is there anybody that you have your sights set on? You know, I, I want to fight anybody, man. Uh, I, like you said though, that's thin, and, and I, I want to keep moving up. And, and you know, hopefully, my next fight will be you know top fifteen, top ten guy. Um, they're tough fights, and they're great. To, they're great, and uh, I'm excited to compete. You know, and I'm, I'm here to compete, and I don't want to be number you know twenty in the world forever. I want to you know, kind of move up and try to get a chance to be number one. You know. As a former uh, football player in college, you know, fullback and everything with LSU, and then also the ability that you have to show your athleticism, like doing backflips in the cage. <laughs> I mean, how do you really push yourself in your training to get to the next level? I've done it my entire life. Um, since I was a youngster, you know, I kind of excelled at athletics. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't know it was any different. Like I was too young, and so competing to be the best is always something I, I had and my mom was really really kind of instilled that in us um sure you know we're you're, okay yeah cool you're one of the best fullbacks in texas but you're going to college now so you know your buddy go in there and work uh so it's kind of one of those things where i just have done my entire life and i don't like to lose i don't like to be in second you know so <laughs> training is what i do <laughs> <laughs> well how do you feel about the uh, college football playoff system i think it's year? good i think it's good i, I haven't I was in camp, so I didn't get to see much of it. But uh, right. I think it's good just to give, uh, I guess, uh, all the naysayers or people that have problems with the uh, you know bowl system. Uh, it's good for everybody. I mean, it, it's tough on the players a little bit. They get to play a few more games, but in, in the end, you get you do get kind of a, a legitimate uh, champ, next champion. So. Now that you've had a pretty good run here in the UFC, how do you feel uh, about going forward and, and pressing, like uh, he was saying here, into that top ten? I mean, how do you feel about your stance in the division? Like, uh, like y'all said a little while ago, um, the heavyweight division isn't completely thick. The top ten is thick. I mean, all those guys are really tough. Top, you know, top fifteen guys are all you know, really tough guys, uh, and it's easy to break in the top of it because heavyweights hit hard. Uh, one punch can change it. You, know, you can have a guy that has maybe a little bit more skill than you or a little more experience, but you get hit and you go to sleep. It's what happens. Uh, you know, I found that out the hard way with Mr. Gonzaga. Uh, it's one of those things, you know, it's, it's a heavyweight curse.